Uh, hey YouTube, Dumas RLC, back with another video. This is Auto World 2023 Premium Release 1. Um, I just actually picked up release or version B, uh, at least as far as my filming film this, uh, <laughs> um, two days ago from uh, Maze Collectibles. He hooked me up, hooked me up with a lot of my uh, cases that I buy up. So. Um, I already opened them, so it's kind of a case unboxing, just more of a showcase. Uh, I opened them just to look. No ultra red, which is okay. Um, so we'll just get right into it. We'll go through version A box first. All right, we have first up. We got the new casting, the 1991 Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR. Four in Jamaican Blue Poly. Kind of a teal. I like it. All right. Next up, there's two new castings in this case. On uh, this mix. All right. Next up, we got the 2020 Chevy Corvette in Long Beach Red Metallic. I'm debating if I'm going to end up keeping these Corvettes or not. Because I'm not, I'm not really a fan of the C8 vet. Um, so I'm not going to end up opening up the Corvettes on this, but, uh, yeah, I still, I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping them. <laughs> uh, next up, we got the 97 Toyota Supra Euro spec. This is the Euro spec one with the, uh, scoop hood in super white. Uh, next up, ow. Next up, we got the other new casting. A 1984 Dodge Caravan. This one in beige crystal coat. And I think... Yeah. So, the way they designed it, uh, at least for this this one, this interior and this one, is actually a manual. <laughs> um, another cat... This is one of those... It, it's cool that they did it. I'm probably not going to keep all the ones that they do. Like this one, I'm probably I might not keep just because I'm not I don't care for the beige. I like the other one. The other one's red. I think the version B is red. Uh, so I'll probably end up keeping that one. I really hope they do a 1990 in white with red interior. Cause, oh, hang on. All right, I'm back. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, my parents had bought a 90 caravan in white with a red interior. Um brand new i was like five <laughs> so i kind of hope they do one we'll see what happens though all right next up we have the return of the square body uh we have the 83 silverado step side on a lowered base in black and lastly in this in the a here we got 79 Lincoln Continental Mark V in cream. Alright, next up, version B. I can open the case. Yes, I have a new background. Uh, <laughs> saw it in the probably last few videos. Anyway, alright. We have the 84 Dodge Caravan in garnet pearl coat. Like, this one, I'm probably going to keep. That one, yeah, I'm going to open that one. I'm keeping that one. All right, and then we got the C8 Vet, 2020 Corvette in... Oh, crap, I'm off camera. In Rapid Blue. And that's going to the side of the other one. Put the beige one over here. So open it. All right, then we got the 97 Toyota Supra in Quicksilver FX. <coughs> and we got the... 79 Lincoln Continental Mark IV in dark red poly. All right, so <clears throat> for those that don't know, ultra reds of this mix, look for the white interiors. Especially like when it comes to this, the ultra red of these, this or the caravan, look for the white tires. All right, and 91 Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 in glacier white. And lastly in the mix, we got what I originally thought was red, but it's not. <clears throat> um, 83, the Silverado Stepside in Dark Tangerine Metallic. It's a custom color. 
All right, so I'm not going to open these. We'll just display them in the background. Because, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up keeping them or not. We'll see what happens. I don't know. See how things go once I ever get my damn uh, whatnot going. Hell, by the time I actually load this video, I might actually have already started whatnot. Uh, <coughs> Alright, so let's first, let's go ahead and just go right to the one that I'm only keeping one of. Dodge Caravan. No. There we go. Alright. Dodge Caravan in the Garnet. Yeah, Garnet Pearl Coat. Yeah, I missed the bag. Alright, anyway. Uh, yeah. So, it, it's a cool cast. Don't get me wrong. This is a cool cast. And I think it's pretty neat that they did it. And if you, I don't know if you can tell. See the stick shift in there, maybe. Yeah. But, uh, like, from what I understand, I think they did a turbo engine. on a, uh, They tooled up a turbo engine, too. I don't think this is it. But I think they... I, thought they did maybe i could be wrong but at least hey they did a stick shift interior so that's kind of neat <laughs> so not not much else to say really i mean it's, it's a freaking caravan that were a dime a dozen once they came out because the utility of them was so good <laughs> all right next up let's do the supras do open up the white one first so this is the euro spec one with the uh scoop hood you know it was not available stateside i don't know if they did them in uh, japan or not damn it i missed the bag again but uh yeah i think it's kind of especially when they put the european style license plate um on them that's kind of that was kind of a neat touch for these it's tear where's my where's my tool Ooh, I don't want to open. There it goes. There's your engine bay. So, yeah. <clears throat> Silver, it's a cool cast. I hope they do a few more. Like uh, I like that they got the 3000 GT to kind of go along with it now, too. So, I'm hoping there's some others to come along the way. And now the Quicksilver FX. Yeah, I'm like, what I said I was going to do, I didn't freaking do yet. Start going over the uh, tidbits there. And do it, and I'll, and I'll start again in the next videos I do. <laughs> this one freaking pops. It's, a, it's very metallic. It looks, it's almost like too metallic. It looks good, but it's almost, like I said, it's almost like too metallic. Especially because the wing is just plastic and it doesn't quite match the paint. <clears throat> so, still looks good. Alright, next up. Do the Silver Rabbit. The black one first. This one almost looks, it might look familiar because there was a uh, square body that was done, like, I think it was a hobby exclusive a while back. And done in black. It's done with these wheels. Damn it. Um, it wasn't, I don't think it's an 83. Well, it was with these wheels, done in black, but it was on like the standard right height base, not the lowered one like this. I think these, I think it looks pretty cool with the lowered base. Black interior, black engine bay. Black, black, black. <laughs> and then tangerine metallic, custom color with the custom wheels. Oh yeah, I'll look at that too. So the plates are different. But I think on the super they're the same. <laughs> yeah, hit the camera again. All right. Yeah, that's okay. So USA plate and oh, USA plate, same thing. Okay. So I think with Auto World they usually don't do the different plates. It's with Johnny Lightning that they seem to tend to 
do different plates on per version A versus version B. So this one looks really cool. I actually really like this color. Um, I like it more than the black for sure. So I think it's neat. And I know like the next the next mix is uh I don't know what year this the the Silverado is, but I know it's like a regular bed, also lowered. All right, next up. All right, version B, we'll just do it first because it's the first one I picked up of the 79 Lincoln Continental Mark 5. I love this casting. I think it's freaking awesome as hell. Um, It's freaking huge. <laughs> uh, stuff on the wheel there. Whatever, get it off later. So I, I showed it off last year, like the the that dark green one that came out last year was one of my favorite releases of 2022. It was not the, obviously it wasn't the debut of it, but that color just I I love that. It's kind of like a dark emerald color. It looked really good. And honestly, this red one might be up there as a uh, favorite of this year so far. <laughs> Okay. And then cream. Cream on cream. Cream cream over cream. Cream on cream over cream. Freaking nice. <sighs> so doesn't pop as much as the red, obviously. This one looks much more like what I would your typical grandpa cruiser it would be <laughs> but still a cool casting i'm gonna definitely try to get all of them i i have all actually i have since this is only number six i have all of them now so yeah awesome casting can't wait to see more and lastly the other new casting in the mix we got the 91 mitsubishi 3000 gt Jimmy's domestic market, car was sold as Mitsubishi GTO in Japan. So they got the Dodge Stealth, which was the sister car to this. And we modified them mechanically all the same, I believe. Got that? Yep. Is that case full? No, it's not. I like it. So, engine bay is going to be pretty similar to the Stealth. It was all the same engines and stuff. Uh, that's a turbo. Yeah, that's a turbo. So, oh yeah. The wheel, one of the wheels was, there it is. The nose didn't package, it was a little off. And we're good. So, yeah. And lastly, Glacier White. Very metallic white. Oh. Or more, maybe just pearl. No, it's pearl. Not really metallic. It's more of a pearl. That silver is metallic. Not that super. Anyway. Um, and here we are. Oh, they got... Oh, I didn't notice the interior. They got the white in the, on the interior of the teal one. And the red on the interior of the black one. Oh, the white one. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize the two-tone interior. <laughs> so, yeah, another. Uh, I like that they're venturing out and doing more than just the uh, American stuff. Um, it's good to see these other ones come out. So, I mean, I'm, obviously everyone loves them. Supers are freaking nuts, but these 3000 GTs are... They don't get the love. There's really widespread love, anyway. <laughs> So there you have it. This is good, cool casting. I, I do have the, there was the Auto World exclusive in yellow. I have that. That's going to come up. I know from the prior video. Um, the uh, Mitsubishi Starry and the Auto World exclusive store exclusive. I also have that one too. That'll be in some video at some point. <laughs> So anyway, that is 2023 Release 1, both A and B. Uh, let me know what you think. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. 
like, comment, subscribe. I just, I enjoy just doing this just to ramble. <laughs> All right, everyone, have a good one. Thanks for watching.